Hey guys, it's me, Ryan. I was set. Uh, you see I'm how he was not this. looking away from the camera? Okay, shoot. This is all set up, man. Sound like it. Tell you what's going on. I'm not in possession of my phone. I can't get access to my Instagram. Uh, my cards are locked. And I'm just being real, you know, I'm being real taken advantage. And uh, I personally wanted just to send out a video to the people that love me and my fans and family that's concerned that I'm okay. I'm not dead. I believe in Jesus. All those are lies. And, you know, I, they try to put me in jail. They're blocking my cards. I can't access my money. Nobody's hitting me back. I don't know what's going on, but uh, just You're I'm okay. Look. Oh. oh, yeah. That means that, you know, that's the same thing they did to Tate, y'all. You know what the problem with my, with me is? They, they, Garcia said that they're blocking his money. Andrew Tate said that they froze his bank accounts. Uh, who else was on that list that they said? Kanye West. Kanye West was another one. Froze my bank accounts. Uh, here's the problem with that, man. I don't think anybody that, that you bank with should be able to freeze your money. Not without the whole fucking, every person in that bank getting their banks freeze, right? Banks frozen. Uh, you work for your money. You don't work for your money. What's up? What's up, Freddie? You don't work for your money outside of the bank. Put it into a bank for them just to freeze it because you say something slick. That tells you who's who's in control, y'all. If we open our eyes and look at just the banking system and how they're able to freeze people's money for just speaking about how they feel, now you know you're in a real, real world. It gets deep. Stay to the very end, my friend. Please send help. Pray. Send prayers. I'm calling all prayer words. If they me it wasn't me are the people going to get behind me or let them blank me that's the real question let ryan dyer help me are you guys the crazy ones because i'm not lying they are hurting kids and everyone is standing back telling me to shut up i don't care anymore i'll perish for the innocent souls taken if you aren't on my side you're on the devil's side they held me down and made me watch of course i lost a title they really begged me to join. I said, F you. Where? Okay, so that's that's the live stream where he got on there with Tate. We're gonna we're gonna view that as well. Bro, they fucking took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a f bro. I fucking will wow. show you every fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. And tied me down and they made me fucking watch dog i actually They're right there bohemian grove is real we know it's real we've had several people come out and talk about it it was first alex jones that made the trip to bohemian grove and actually you know put it online now I think what they've done is kind of embrace that it's real and kind of watch who they let in. But when you let people into something on the terms of something, you know, that they may want, like, like you put something out in front of them, you know, like almost got it. He's almost got it. And then, you know, like somebody like Ryan Garcia goes to Bohemian Grove finally sees what is going on and decides nah this is not what i'm here for and instead of allowing him instead of allowing them people to blackmail him or do anything crazy to him ryan garcia this ryan garcia decided he was going to speak out first so i get it you don't give a fuck. 
anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping. Bohemian Grove, Monte Rio, California, is a restricted 2,700 acre campground at 20,601 Bohemian Avenue, belonging to a private gentleman's club known as the Bohemian Club. The following list of Bohemian Club members includes both past and current members of note to membership. A lot of people have been to these Bohemian places, Club man. Takes a variety of forms. With membership so, regularly offered to new university presidents and to military commanders stationed on, in the San Francisco Bay Area. Regular for me. I do a shout out, y'all. I got to get used to your uh, your uh, cash app name, Dog Soldier. I was like, who the hell is that? Shout out to motherfucking Dog Soldier, man. For the early cash app said, make a mad. Make them mad, make them mad, make them mad. Shout out to Dog Soldier, y'all. Salute to my man, Dog, man. He's also a content creator. Go over and check him out. I implore you to go check him out. He be on the same shit I am with when it comes to these children, man. Leave our kids alone. Members are usually wealthy and influential men who pay full membership fees and dues and who I wonder what it is. 15 years for an opening. As the club limits itself to about 2,700 men, associate members are graphic and so no women. and actors who pay lesser fees because of their usefulness and assisting with club activities in San Francisco. So is it fair to say that Bohemian Grove is something like Scientology? Or is it a place where Scientologists go to do certain rituals, sacrifices. Because it seems like, you know, they've got the same systematic uh, Scientology thing where they want you to be at the top of the class, you know. It's a little weird, man. It's a little weird. Why do people like, why do rich people want to be involved in such weird gentleman clubs and things like that is it that is it because they weren't that when they were growing up is that like a place for all like the 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 high school nerds and shit to get together and at the bohemian grove professional members are associate yeah, they, members they do who have developed the world. ability to pay full dues and are skilled professionals selected from the arts community yeah. the fight is happening april 20th he's just playing crazy to sell it which is weird because it's people who are actually crazy out there, but he's just active for attention. Get Hold on. on. Now, I just watched the UFC uh, media day today, and I watched uh, Sugar Sean O'Malley get up there, and I guess Ryan Garcia had called him out, and Sugar Sean O'Malley said cocaine is a hell of a drug and that he believes Ryan Garcia is on drugs. And who better to know than Brian and Oscar, please? This is all an act, y'all. Now, this I ain't gonna you, I never heard of this. So when I first when I first heard of Bohemian Grove was today. I, 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 I that's, that's hard to believe. Like that and everything yeah. and that's your first I time with hurry, hearing of Bohemian Grove? I, I wouldn't put it past. We already had Epstein Island get revealed. But... It's been revealed. Is the Bohemian's not revealed? old or not new? Well, Mr. Haney says yes. So we got the fight still happening. He's saying that he's playing crazy and everything like that and all that. I don't know. I don't think he needs to play crazy to sell this fight. That's my point. I don't think he needs to sell this fight. I doubt he has to fucking play crazy. Part of me says he's not. Part of me says he is. The part of me that says that he's not is he hasn't had this much attention on him in a while. Yes, he so has. You have the attention on you. Why not? Yes, he just did in his last fight. He may be. His last fight was with uh, Tank, right? He had plenty of attention on him. Come on, man. We got to know more. Feel like, bro, him. somebody is after him. Somebody wants to do him harm or something like that. You got to know a little bit more before we talk. Because let's be fair. We I fall victim to it, too. Issue. Are we going to play like that's not true? But I do want to say this, and I had to say this. Yeah, he had a lot of fucking attention on him. Whenever I hear these cats talk about these secrets. Yeah, he got hit with that gut shot, that liver shot, put him down. What did you do to get in there? 
as it would most men. When I walk in, heads must bow down, right? That's what Cat Williams said. Appreciate you, super. So I'm curious. I, I'm. I appreciate you being fighter. here when you I do that. cover, bro. Da, 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 da. You couldn't. You couldn't. Did none of that. None of that. So they were able to grab you. And if you truly expose and stuff, why would you put no names on it? So I issued this. <laughs> okay, let's stop if that you... there. I'm. I'm not. I'm on another side of this, guys. I don't think Ryan's so crazy. I'm not thinking Ryan's crazy at all. You see, we've been covering these type of things for what, the last few months? We've always like had conspiracy theories going on over here, but we've been covering these things. And Bohemian Grove is very real. Kid Rock just spoke about it on on uh, Joe Rogan, that uh, he was kicked out for punching somebody at Bohemian Grove. Where is this at? Where is Bohemian Grove located? It's Northern California, right? Bohemian Grove location. Yep. Monte Rio, where would Monte Rio be at? Northern or Cali? Northern or Southern? I'm thinking it's in the Northern if you're talking about like forests and shit, right? No, nah, it's in Northern Cali, I'm sure. Let's see, here it is. It's located south, 70 miles northwest of San Francisco. So it is northern. Okay. I wonder uh, wonder what it would be to try to get up in there like Alex did, man. I mean, you it wouldn't. The people and you you'd have the to. Visionaries, that's us over here. I'm one of them. We don't have a leader. We just regular individuals. We fight for truth, uh, justice in the American way. I don't Superman. think. Ryan's crazy for this, guys. Maybe, you know. Show some names. Have you ever thought that it would be mighty scary? You know, coming like, just think of this. He come out and did this, right? He come out. All right, Dog Soldier got it. So there's three? So there's one. Yeah, it's, it's definitely near the coast, too. I'm just thinking of like maybe how it was so easy for Alex to do. I wonder if someone could maybe like camp out and kind of walk up on these people slowly. I mean, I'm pretty sure it could be done, right? And just pay more attention to what's going on. But they may have their own security out there. They may have cameras up and, you know. But I, I don't think Ryan's off crazy on this one, guys. I don't. I think. With a little bit of craziness, there's a whole lot of truth. There's a whole lot of truth, man. I got to believe that he's not all the way crazy because we've read and talked about things like this. We have we have discussed these. Name drop somebody. Don't drop no Don't names. Do Don't drop no names, bro, unless you want to die, Ryan. Don't do that. Start doing that. One. That's probably why he did. Because if you want to talk about elites and all that stuff and everything like that. Ain't you with an elite called Mayweather? No. Mm. So is no, it Mayweather? Mayweather's not an elite, that? bro. Hmm? I just be curious because you cats never put a name on it. It's like y'all scared, but infiltrated not scared net. Enough. Okay. And I always Hell, you're not too far from it, are you, <gasps> Net? Holy moly. Yeah, you're not too far. Now, is it absolutely possible that he's lying? 100%. Could he be playing crazy to try to sell the fight? 100%. I don't think he has to play crazy to sell the fight. could he do what I think he's going to end up doing and realize that, eh, Ryan, you're not that good. Well, we you all know that. You yourself into too many corners, and eventually your ass got to start delivering. Let's just be fair. He's a decent fighter. He is. But the thing about decent fighters and all that and everything like that is your time in the sun you get three great fights that will 
elevate you? No. Or devastate you? Not right? three. You lost to Tank. If you lose to Haney, that's two. If he loses to Haney, he's done. Now let's take it a step further. If you lose, there's not much fight, more left to don't fight. Care about you anymore. Sorry, young man. That's how it goes. That part of the world looks know. beautiful. With, oh, I know, oh, dude. Bro. Them trees. Them trees are badass, bro. All those big ass trees, dude. The trunks on those things, gigantic trees. Trunks bomber. And you got that right. Time, basically, you tied one. That's gonna count as a loss. And then you lost twice. Nobody cares about his last fight. He's had a fight like a month ago. Nobody cares. So, man, do I, I don't see, think man? I don't think he needs to sell the fight this way. One hundred percent. Do I believe that there are individuals out here who are capturing kids and all that stuff, especially in California? Hell yeah, hell yeah, one hundred percent. That that part okay, man. So right there, that's enough. That's scary. Seti Nash lives in California. And he says he believes 100% there's people snatching kids definitely in California. Tell me how wild that sounds, man. Just think how quick someone could snatch your kid and be across the border with him and, and, or her and just be gone. Y'all be safe out here, man. Protect, your, protect the things that you love. Hold them dear. Hold them dear. Are there secret societies that exist? 100%. It's an Amber Alert every day. The funny day. part is, wow. not that y'all can find them on the internet, but the government We don't even get them like that. The we get one like in so, every no. six months, maybe. Go look up Jekyll Island in South Carolina. That's one of the places y'all can't get into. But certain societies, I understand. If you talk ah. about if I had money and I was rich, and you had money and you was rich. Come and try golf clubs. And they was rich. And we all came from the hood. And we called ourselves the hood millionaires. And this was a group that we said. If yeah, you those are everywhere. Two million dollars a year. And you had to show it. That, 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 those kind of societies are everywhere, right? What's up, Hodges? Salute, G. Those kinds of things are everywhere, correct? Like they have golf clubs. They have gentlemen clubs. They got all this shit. They got cigar clubs. Kids are getting snatched up in White Plains, New York. Y'all be safe with y'all kids, man. Know where your kids are going at all times. That's one thing I was big about. When my kids were young and they were at that stay the night phase, because all of our kids go through it. Can I stay the night? Can Bobby stay the night? Can I go stay the night with Ricky? My daughter was big about it. My brother, my son, his friends would come over at our house. But for some reason, our daughter always went somewhere else. But buddy, let me tell you something. I checked every single household that my children went to. I ran their names. The only thing I really cared about was child offenses and shit. You know, I didn't care if the man drove drunk or his dad was a drinker or whatever. I didn't have that. I didn't, I didn't care. But I, I paid attention to where my children were going. And I paid attention to who their friends were. You know? I always gave advice among, on how to choose your friends wisely. They ended up pretty good kids, I might just say. became a secret society. I'm not saying see, that to toot my own horn, but I, I raised game, some pretty good kids, man. Know about. Look at dogs. Look at dogs, there's son, bro. He's able to articulate really himself so fucking great. You don't and that comes from money. good teaching. It's called sophisticated stocks. See, there's already stocks that exist that are bigger than Bitcoin. You don't have well, access course. to them. Because for some years, you have to earn Four hundred thousand dollars a year. That's a secret society that I know about. There's tons of secret societies. Am I wrong? Subscribe and turn on that bell to stay notified. For the boy, that's a the good show. topic, there, we boy. About to start dropping some stocks. This is a good topic here, boy. Because you know we talk about this, we discuss these things, and here they come. One more time, right in front of our faces, y'all. Right? I mean, it's just right there in front of our face. We're talking about P. Diddy, the Illuminati's, the uh, the Bohemian Groves. This is all real, dude, whether we want to look at it and believe it's not or not. These are all things that are going on. And it's very... 
I can see. We all can see that they're trying to shut it up. Freezing your bank accounts? What kind of shit is that? You good, Primo? Said he good people, bro. He watches us. Not all the time, but he watches. These things are real, aren't they? I, I sit up here and wonder sometimes. But my wonderment is going... I don't even know that's a real word. Wonderment. <laughs> We're making shit up over here. But I wonder sometimes, you know, are, are they real? But more... As we, go, as we go further discussing people's different celebrity gossip, different gossip and shit on YouTube and in the world, I think it's becoming way more evident that these things are true. And, and, they'll, and it looks like they'll do anything so that you don't know it or that you don't believe it. There's, there's a thing called muddy in the waters, right? We know that. Jack did it all the time. He muddied the water as much as he could. It's like, what I mean by muddy in the water, it means that you know something about me to be true, right? And it's something bad. Let's put it that way. And then I know you know it's true, but I'm going to put a bunch of stupid facts in it, a bunch of shit that don't make sense, and I'm going to let that mingle. That's called muddy in the waters so that people don't see the real thing that's going on. They see all they don't see that big ass catfish. They see all those bluegills going around. They say, I'd rather catch those bluegills than get that catfish. Seems like that's the bee, bro. It's sad, but that is it. Ryan Garcia, look at him, bro. He looks like such a the good kid, right? So Sneeko reacted to it. There was a breakdown. I'm trying to find this breakdown. I'm trying to find this breakdown that he had on YouTube, on Twitter. And it was a Twitter space. There we go. Andrew Tate. I don't know if... Uh, is Ryan lying? No. I don't think so. Maybe about certain things. You know? I don't know. It seems like, you know, what we see. Here, here's the way I'm looking at this. I'm, I'm looking at it as I'm from the outside looking in. So I'm looking at it to like, you know. From what we've well, from what we've seen just on YouTube, right, and what we've witnessed, what we watched Kanye West go through when he spoke out about about all these things, they froze his bank accounts, they they fucked him out of of all these deals, right? They took him off, you know, all these promos. It's what it is. It's promo deals. So it's like you know, you want this logo in your background, right? And you want it there because you think it's going to draw money, right? So you, I give you $10 million, put that logo. Well, all they're doing is just removing that logo from you. And they're saying, we ain't paying you no more. And it's got to be true if all these things that they're doing to you are so egregious. I mean, they're, they're basically trying to make you sh shut up again. I think it's true. Is some of the things tweaked a little bit? Maybe. But that's something that our memories do. Like he may have heard a thousand things bad about Bohemian Grove. And all these things come together when he thinks about what his story is. But a story of having him tied to a tree, watching them R-word children is nuts, bro. That is nuts. Let's check this out. Okay, but let's watch this. We got Sneeko. Look, they're already putting Bohemian Grove content text in our videos now. They probably already got me, got me one. They are probably already got it. Look what they're doing. They did a COVID. They did COVID on me one time. Look, they're already putting context in it. That's how bad these people don't want you to know. 
Why would they try to say, oh, well, oh, no, Bohemian Grove is just a, it's, it, I'm going to put this down here. But they'll let me talk about Diddy being an R word for three fucking straight days. But no, how come Bohemian Club is just so personal? That strikes the question in itself as well. Am I lying? Hold on. I'm not crazy up here, right? Hold on. They'll let me sit up here and dog Diddy, talk shit about Diddy being an R word, being gay, filing all these lawsuits against Diddy. But you you went you speak about the Bohemian Club, bro, and they put the context on you. They're telling people, no, that's not true. Bohemian Club is this. Bohemian Club is that. He's lying. No, no that right there is enough. Period. Period. Why are they so worried about proving that Bohemian Club is the shit? This is nuts. This is not hard to see through. The glass is not tinted that dark. So, Ryan, a lot of people are starting to talk about this stuff. Professional boxer Ryan Garcia told Andrew Tate and the next spaces that he was held down, tied up, and forced. All right, man, we're about to get right into it. So uh, we got Ryan Garcia jumping on X with Tate, you know, and, and it's L Tate, guys, L Tate for 18, even man. entertaining this clown. For helping me beat Jack Frost once again with the donations. I appreciate y'all. Salute to y'all. Thank you, Freddie. Thank you, everybody in the chat. That's just... That's if you're talking about the Bohemian Club, right? And you're just up here talking about what B Ryan Garcia says. Why would they stick a Bohemian? They're going to put one on my video as well. They're going to do it. I know they are. I freaking no, delete it. Cloud chasing. So I, I don't even know why Tate would even entertain this bullshit. Uh, but but let's let's get into the clip, guys. I mean, man, this guy's a clown. Let's watch the grape of children in the woods. He said the higher elites are behind this. Half way. He has proof, including video evidence, and that the Bohemian Grove is real. He also they're said making they fun of him when he was two years old. This comes after Garcia released a video claiming his Instagram account was hacked. Um, I think this is a mix of some drug addiction. It's like, you know, it, it, there's a lot going on. But let, let's see. I, 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 let's figure it out. Shout out to Neon Lies in here. We <laughs> and um, clip season. Is that actually Neon? No, that's what. Yo, right. Andrew. Hey, bro. All right, talk to us. Bro, I don't give a fuck, bro. They held me down and they made me watch the little kids get. I don't give a fuck anymore. Where? <laughs> That's bro, they kid, fucking bro. took me to the fucking woods, bro, and they fucking tied. I'm not fucking joking, bro. I have fucking proof, bro. I don't give a fuck. No. Bro, I fucking started. will show you every oh, fucking video you could ever fucking believe. Bohemian Grove is real. They fucking tied me down. And they made me fucking watch, dog. I absolutely don't give a fuck anymore. Yes, I fucking lost it. They're raping little kids. Ooh, man. Hearing him say that just irks me, dude. It irks me. That irks me bad, bro. Bro, you know, you know, you know the higher elites, bro. You already know who they are, bro. No, no. you know the path Andrew, you're going down is dangerous, my friend. I don't. Yes, it fuck. is. I don't give a fuck. They can't touch me. I'm a god. Yeah, I'm a god is crazy. Um, yeah, that really right there. Too. I'm a god makes you makes me believe something different. Okay, I'm a god is a little wild. Ryan, I'm a god is a little wild. Okay. That's that. That's drug so fuel. Is, 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 I mean, but it's not really like revolutionary stuff. Bohemian Grove is right, real. Everybody I'm, knows. Man, I'm, I'm gonna let him rap, dude. Like, like I'm just so annoyed how Tate entertained this shit, bro. Like, god damn. That's that's been proven. That's not a conspiracy theory. There's actual footage of Alex Jones yep. going there, yep. and they talked about it all the time. Did he talked about it? Yeah. Even Kid Rock just talked about it. Did he talk about he it? Went to Bohemian Grove. Oh he like no. Was there. He saw. Did he spoke about Bohemian Grove? Huh? Did he? Did he really do it? Did he really did? Did, did he? Politicians there. <laughs> like it's, it's, it's an open secret. Do you think that he's just trying to? Devin Haney say he, he's just doing all this to get out of the fight. He's doing it to get uh, out of the fight. I don't know if he's doing it to get out of the fight because they're gonna get. There's probably penalties that he will lose a lot of money. So yeah, why would he want to get out of the fight? Out of fight, fight stupid. <laughs> Nico, 
That's the dumbest shit I've ever heard. I think he's trying to do, he's a fucking fighter. You think he's trying to get out of the fight? You think he went up there and signed that contract because he was fucking scared? <laughs> uh, I think that's the last thing on his mind. Super rich, super famous at a young age. Because um, he's in his early 20s, isn't he? He's, he's my age, 25. Yeah, so yeah. Um, to have that level of fame and that level of money and that level of status at such a young age. Other uh, people are doing it. It's dangerous, man. I mean, you can see, you can hear him slurring his words a bit. Yeah, he, he sounds drunk. drunk. He sounds drunk in this yeah, video. I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. And a lot of you guys are like, he's waking up. Like, did he, he did Okay, so far he didn't say anything revolutionary. Yeah. Like, that's stuff we all know. Um, but you got to remember. Hold on, this. man. Brother. Okay, gotta... so, so what's good, darling? So now we're downplaying what Ryan Garcia says because we already know Bohemian Grove is real. Well, we already know that. So fuck what he's saying. See, that's that you want to talk about Bohemian Grove shit. But you don't want Ryan to talk about it, huh, Sneeko? He ain't saying nothing revolutionary. I mean, we say it all the time. And we'll probably say it tomorrow, too. I remember the average American fucking kidding me can't even that's it's like, damn sure legendary they, when you have a guy like ryan garcia come out and say things like this it's always legendary because now you have someone else saying something fucking yeah that's true idiot crazy yeah that's true that's why i, I nikki he said he got yeah. um okay let's keep listening well that's the first point of contention because I care about you a lot and I can assure you from my own personal experience that they can touch you, which is bro, the worst part No, they it. can't, bro. All right, so come touch me, you fucking bitch. What? He's wrong, bro. You have proof having a bad about, week. Well, hopefully you your week your is phone? better. Yes, of course I do. Okay, if he's saying all this stuff, you should just post it, right? If you're going to make all these yeah, accusations. But here's the thing. He doesn't even have access to his phone. They took his shit away from him. He's on a Twitter space right here logged in. No, Twitter. no, no. But like he made a video. I know. Saying that they took his phone. They locked his cards, etc. They locked his cards. So is has wild, bro. Like, has a shit. When you're that famous, bro, like other people have access to all your social medias and, and you know, that. Like he probably doesn't do anything himself. No. Like he probably has. Some I've been in his Twitter spaces him. with 300 people in there. Like he, he he does a lot of that. He, he's tweeting. He's schizo tweeting all day long for weeks. No, 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 I know, I know. I, I mean, he might have access. So to is he crazy? I'm saying is that I mean, times. Uh, do you think that he has to do like? I mean, he probably works out a lot. Um, I don't know. We don't need no crazy stories. Said, oh, I got we got enough crazy phone. stories, right? <laughs> I mean, is it still even there? I don't like, bro. These these people, when they're this rich, they're this famous, etc. They have someone else doing all their shit for them. Someone pays. Them I for actually them. like from actual experience. I've been in Vegas when he was like coordinating streams with Neon, and he's not that much of a like a celebrity like you think. Like he was like he was just in the casino like chilling. Hold on. He's like, hey, what's up? And he's like, goes to the gym. Ryan Garcia is not that much of a celebrity as we think. Is that what this fucking dickhead just said? Is that what that fucking dickhead just said? We keep him on deck, y'all. Is that what they just said, man? Ryan Garcia is not that famous, bro. <laughs> oh, boy. I mean, he's famous enough, dude. You're talking about him right now. I hate this. Bro, this Nico dude, he downplays everybody, bro. I have tried to like this guy so many times. But I cannot find anywhere where Sneeko is on his real shit and doing something proper for the fucking people he's doing it for. He's always backbiting, bro. Every time I watch Sneeko, he is fucking backbiting. Now he's up here. How many times we watch him try to downplay Ryan in that last uh, minute? I called it out every time. He's like, he was just in the casino, like chilling. He's like, uh, you know, what he's saying ain't really of a, what, what he's saying ain't really ever, uh, yeah, uh, what he's saying ain't really, it ain't revolutionary, y'all. There goes one. Then he goes, uh, yeah, he's really not that much of a fucking star as you think, guys. Get off his nuts, bro. You on his bumper for what? He's like, hey, what's up? And he's like, goes to the gym. 
Like, yeah. but I, I was, I was there. Like, <laughs> I was just, I was there like two weeks ago. He was just like hanging out with Neon. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah of course. Oh, like, bro. I mean, y'all were sitting in the casino. Like, if you go, yeah, that he, he ain't really yeah, popping like that, that guy. He's a boxer, I mean, dude. Where were you on? Were you guys like right there in the like main in area? The, like in the you guys were probably yeah. like in the in the big players area where like no, he was like in the normal. He's like, oh, what's up? He was like in like in the fucking lobby of the casino. You know, in the open. And, no he, and he had his phone. You know, I got just while we're on this on this subject, dog soldier. Great for thinking of that. Thank thank you for saying something because it's something I've been thinking about saying, but I just it just keeps slipping my mind. There was somebody left a comment on my live stream the other day. And I didn't, you know, the comment didn't bother me. It said, I noticed. Hold on. I'm going to get, I'm going to read the comment verbatim because it wasn't a bad comment. I'm just going to respond to it live. And the dude was in our, he was in our, he was in our live stream acting good. You know, he was a good person. He was acting cool. He says, I saw that you blocked somebody first speak for the sp for the first speak of their mind. I could care less about what you do, but I think your channel will grow if you let people speak their mind. OK, first off. I do. I don't block anyone ever for speaking their mind. I don't. I, I don't. Do I? Okay. Second part. The, the, the comment sections and all that, that's different. When you're putting a video out, I don't block nobody. Go crazy on it. I don't give a fuck. Unless you're weirdos, then I'm going to block it. Like, we already got beef. I'll block it. But that's different when you're doing a live stream. I do a live stream every time I speak with y'all, right? I mean, this is what I do. I don't come up here and do videos. I like to come on here and have fucking fun. That's it. I don't come on here to drag y'all down. I don't come here for that, none of that. You can speak your fucking mind. But there's a difference because this isn't a video that I'm releasing. Like, I'm live streaming. And you could see live that everybody is able to speak their minds. Now, you might have jumped in and caught something where it was between somebody's me and somebody's beef that I blocked them. But I, I, I essentially do not block people for speaking their minds. Because I'm moving away from content that's going to have you feeling any type of way about me. Unless it's just flat out hate. You see what I'm saying? I, I'm getting away from the bullshit content. That way, if you have a problem with me, the only thing I'm going to be able to call it is hate. Because I don't fucking bother nobody. I actually try to help people. I try to do anything I can for somebody. I will. Especially for the people that's come in my chat and showed me themselves and kicked it with me, bro. You hit me up and you need something from me and I'm able to do it. You got that. No doubt about it. Oh, yeah. Uh, no, and he had his phone. No, no, it's I'm sure he, it wasn't I like love y'all. I'm not saying he doesn't have his phone. I'm saying that. He has people around him that also have access to his phone. Because he made a video. I'm also not video. here to play little We're troll games with people Jackson either. You know what I'm saying? You see that? I'm grown, yeah. bro. I'm 45 years old. Not but if there. he had the, that footage, he should just release it. Like, yeah, he's, I agree. You should release it. Um, Sneeko, he says, I'm with God. He says, I'm a God. He said, I'm a God. The fuck are you talking about? For If Alex could get a fucking video from the Bohemian Grove, of course I could. Yep. Yeah. That's what I was just thinking. Well, That's what I was just I thinking, y'all. If Alex can go up there and get a video, I'm sure somebody else could. I would just like to get... I mean, Alex got the full ritual and everything. I just would like to get maybe a little more. Like, maybe a little bit more. That's what I mean.